All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 28. And in this lesson, we're gonna be uh, dividing uh, three digit numbers by a single digit. We're gonna be dividing by two, three, four, or five. Uh, this whole lesson is all about the standard algorithm, although I might connect that standard algorithm to the dots, the, the place value technique. Uh, because remember, teachers, the point is, not to just get students to do the standard algorithm, but to have it be meaningful when our students get to that point. So uh, from a differentiation point of view, if some of your students still need to be using the dots and representing it pictorially, please let them do that. Eventually they will get to that standard algorithm. It's not a race, it's okay. Um, and this is an opportunity for the other side of your group to be just practicing that standard algorithm if they, if they no longer need the pictures. So it says divide. We're going to do that using the standard algorithm. Check your work by multiplying. But then it also says you can draw your place value chart as needed. So let's start with uh, the standard algorithm. So we're going to get 539 divided by three. Uh, parents and teachers, it's important. Uh, get your students saying this problem the right way. A lot of students will say this one perfectly, 539 divided by three. But then when you ask them to say this problem, they oftentimes say three divided by 539, and that's wrong. We still want them to say, when they see this problem, 539 divided by three. All right, so standard algorithm. And I'm going to try, teachers, to use that common core language. Oftentimes we say, does three go into five? Yeah. How many times? One. Okay. It, and it, it's this technique, this shorthand technique that takes away the meaning. So what I'm going to really try and do is use that common core language, hopefully to add meaning to your um, students as they're w trying to um, learn that standard algorithm. So we're going to say we have five hundreds. Divided amongst three groups means each group is going to get one dot or 100. We've used up 300 or three dots, so that's 300, right? And so five dots take away three dots, or five hundreds take away three hundreds gives us two hundreds, which we are going to cash in for tens, which gives us 23 tens. So we now have 23 tens divided amongst those three groups means each group is going to get seven tens or seven dots. So that means we've used up 21 tens and we have two tens left over. We're going to cash in each of those tens for ten ones, which means we're going to have 29 ones. 29 ones divided amongst those three groups is going to give us, let's see, nine dots in each group, so nine ones in each group, and we have two left over. So how are we going to check our work? Well, our, we're going to check our work by doing three times 179, and we're going to add in the remainder of two to make sure that we get 539. All right, so let's do that. 179 times 3 gives us 3 times 9 is 27. So I'm going to put the 2 here, the 7 here. So 3 times 70, or 3 times 7 tens, is 21 tens, plus 2 more tens is 23 tens. So I'm going to put the 3, carry the 2, so that's 2 hundreds. So now we have 3 times 1 hundreds is 3 hundreds, plus 2 more hundreds gives us five hundreds, so that's 537 plus the extra two, sure enough, gives us the 539 we wanted to end up with. Now, I didn't draw the disks, but teachers, remember, you could be drawing the disks for this problem if you want, or if your students want. More of the same standard practice of that standard algorithm. 783 divided by 5. I'm going to con continue trying to use that common core language. 700s divided by 5, divided amongst 5 groups, means 100 in each group. 
So we've used up five hundreds, and we have two hundreds left over, which means we now have twenty-eight tens. And twenty-eight tens divided amongst five groups means each group is going to get five. We've used up twenty-five tens, so we have three tens left over, which means we now have thirty-three ones left over. So 33 divided amongst five groups means each group is going to get six dots, six ones, which means we've used up 30 and we have three left over. So if we want to check our work, we would do five times 156 and then add in the three remainders and we want the answer to be 783. So let's check it. So let's do 156 times 5. So I got 783. I did that really quick. Um, so be aware, uh, parents and teachers, if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that so your students can get caught up. Then we're going to take that 780, add in our 3, and sure enough, we get 783, which is exactly what we wanted to end up with. And what is math without a word problem? So let's practice with a word problem. So we have Selena. Her, Selena's dog completed an obstacle course that was 932 meters long. There were four parts to the course, all of equal length. How long was one part of the course? Now the thing I want to do as a teacher is I want to model that. And I'm going to say, well, there's four parts to this course. And that entire course was 932 meters. And so I want to know what is one of those little units, one length. So, of course, that means division. Not much of a surprise being a division worksheet or a division lesson. But we're going to do 932 divided by 4. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly because at this point, I think our students are going to be getting it. So we have 13 tens divided by 4 gives us 3 tens with 1 ten left over. And now we have 12 ones left over. And so that's 12 ones divided by 4 is 3. And we have no ones left over. So the answer is 233. So each section of that course was 233 meters. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 3, Lesson 28, where we are really rocking and rolling with that standard algorithm where we have three digits in, in the house. So we have a three-digit, uh, what is it, dividend. And then we have a one-digit divisor.